I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing you with solutions of international test papers. Here I have taken up question number 8 from Cambridge International Examination AS level. This is June 2017 test paper. The question here is, the diagram shows the curve with the equation y equals to 3x square ln 1 over 6x. The curve crosses x-axis at the point P and has a minimum point M. Part 1 is, find the gradient of the curve at the point P. And part 2 is, find the exact coordinate for the point M. Right? So these are the two parts for this question. Normally, you're supposed to write your solution in the space provided. However, in my case, I'm going to give you uh, some hints and how to solve such questions in the space which you see under my camera without moving the paper much. So since we need to find the gradient of the curve at point P, first thing is to find P point itself, right? So let's find the point P on the curve y equals to 3x square ln 1 over 6x, or I can write x over 6. Right? So at point P, it is an x-intercept. We know that y is equal to 0. Substituting 0 here, we get 0 equals to 3x square times ln x over 6. So that gives us two values. x could be 0, or ln x over 6 could be 0, right? Now, x equals to 0 gives us the origin. We are looking at point P. So, at uh, P, we know it is ln x over 6, which is equal to 0. That means x over 6 is 1, right? So, some of you could also write like this, that x over 6 is basically e to the power of 0 or 1, and that gives you x as 1 times 6, which is 6, right? So, we get the value of P as 6, 0. Once we know the coordinate of P, it is easier to find the gradient. So gradient is basically the slope, right? So that is what we are looking for. So let's find the derivative. We know that uh, y is equal to 3x square ln x over 6. So the derivative dy dx is, will apply the product rule, right? So derivative of 3x square is 3, 6x times uh, ln x over 6 plus 3x square times derivative of ln x, which is 1 over this, that is 1 over means you could write 6 over x, correct? Times the derivative of inside function, which is 1 over 6. So you could simplify and write this as 6x ln x over 6 plus 6 and 6 cancel, right? So let's do it with a different ink and x and x cancel. So what you're left with is 3x here. So that becomes the derivative. We need to find the gradient. So gradient at P will be dy dx when x equals to 6. Substituting 6 for x, we get 6 times 6 ln 6 over 6 plus 3 times 6, correct? So that is 36 ln 1 uh, plus 18, right? Now ln 1 is 0, so we get this is 0 plus 18. So we get the gradient as equal to 18. So the solution here is that the gradient at P is 18, correct? So that is how we are going to do part A. Now let's move on and find solution to part B. So in part B, we need to find the exact coordinate of point M. So point M, okay, so let's look into this. So what we see here is that at point M, gradient dy dx will be equal to zero, right? So here you notice that your tangent line is horizontal, correct? And what we found, an expression for dy dx 
is uh, this expression. So that is the expression for dy dx. We'll begin from here. So we can write dy dx. The gradient is given in general for this curve as 6x ln x over 6 plus 3x. Correct? So from here, we'll continue and provide the solution. So let's continue. So 0 equals to 6x ln x over 6 plus 3x. Right. So taking this to the left side, uh, or we could write like this. Let's factor this. So we can factor 3x. So once you factor, you get 2 times ln x over 6. And here you get plus 1. So there are two solutions. One, of course, is x equals to 0. And the other one here is that 2 ln x over 6 equals to minus 1. Right. So these are the two solutions for you. So x equals to 0 is not this point. It is at the origin that you have a, a horizontal tangent. Now let's uh, solve for this particular equation to get our solution for at m, right? So, so that gives you ln, uh, let me write down here, ln x over 6 is equal to minus half, taking e on both sides. So we get x over 6 equals to e to the power of minus half, correct? Right, so we get, from here, we can write x is equal to 6 times e to the power of minus half. Right? So that becomes the coordinate. We need to find exact coordinate, so, so we could write this as 6 over square root of e. That gives us the exact coordinate for x. Now, let's also find the y value, right? The curve given to us is, let's look into the, the equation given to us, uh, which is, let's write down, y is equal to 3x squared ln x by 6, correct? So we can substitute this value here to find the value of uh, y. So we get y equals to 3 x is 6 over square root of e whole square ln we get 6 over 6 square root of e that's what we get right so uh, when you square this you get 3 times that is uh, uh, 6 squared is 36 okay over e and here we get ln 6 and 6 cancel. We have e to the power of uh, minus half, right? So we get e to the power of minus half. Or we can write this as, uh, let me go ahead in two steps. So e to the power of minus half, correct? Now that is a reciprocal. So we get here as equal to uh, minus half, correct? So we get negative. This portion here is negative half and uh, okay so we get negative half this negative half I'm writing for this portion okay ln e to the power negative half is negative half and here we get 3 times uh, 36 let me write 3 times 36 over e correct now we'll divide this get 18 and 18 times 3 is uh, here it is e right over e so what we get here is minus 54 over e so we get minus 54 over e as our answer right so the coordinates for m are uh, the x value is 6 over square root of e and the y value is minus 54 over e correct so that is how we can actually solve this question. So I hope you find it easy and uh, interesting. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. You can always post your queries on the email address given here. 
Thanks for your time and all the best.